Uh, hello? Anybody in here? Hello? Doc? Hello? Do oh, oh, my bad. Oh, you're sleeping. Okay. I'll just take off. No worries. Sorry about that. Whoops. I guess it is a little early in the morning. Probably. Ah, probably should mm, watch out a little bit there. Ah, my head. Good God. Oh, okay. So the doctor's asleep. I'll have to come back at another time. For now, though, I guess I could go... Nova was that girl's name? Yeah, Nova. Moriarty Saloon. That's where uh, the sheriff said it was. What is... The Church of the Children of Adam. Huh. Okay. Weird people, but that is quite the bomb. Alright, let's... Uh, let's go find where this is. Saloon. Okay. Um, a saloon. Yeah, well, knowing my dad, he almost certainly came through a saloon. But, a crater side supply. Huh. Must be like a general store or something. Could be useful in the future. First and foremost, see if my dad is in town. Hopefully he is. I don't know where he would have ran off to. Uh, Hello. Hi. Come on, you piece Good to of see junk. You. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Work. Come on, work. Come on. Oh, I oh, excuse me. Uh, work. Well, I guess yes, you missed that block. Radio. Yes, I can see you just eyeing. Give it up. No, 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 no. You're not going to you want something anything. or you're just looking to get your ass beat? Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, um, I guess you're the only lady in here, so that must make you Nova. Hello? Hey. Hi there. I'm Nova. Uh -huh. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself yeah. a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but, uh, you know, I, it seems like an alright town so far. There's a few oddities, but no worries. Uh, I'm looking for my dad, middle-aged guy, Vault 101 jumpsuit. Have you seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. Oh, really? I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard okay, to forget Moriarty. handsome men like that. Uh, well, just let that slide as it is. Um, can you, like, at least point me to where he went or anything like that? I'll talk to Moriarty, but you got any more information you could share with me? Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Why would Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to hmm. Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Gob? Okay. All right. Um... Okay, I'll go talk to Gob. Take care of yourself, hon. I'd rather you not call me that. Okay, Gob. Gob. I'm yeah, guessing that's the... Something? No, I'm good. I'm guessing that's the guy... Yeah, this guy. He seems to have something wrong with him. You okay? Hey, smooth skin. You smooth need something? Skin. A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Well, I, I appreciate the, the... The nice, uh... Manners, but, um... Buddy, what... What happened to you? I guess they don't have a lot of ghouls in the vault. No? Ghouls? What What in the world is a ghoul? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. What's a lot kind of slower. Food? There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Holy cow. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can yeah. imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. No, I'd, I'd imagine not. I mean, but aging slower, I mean, that's not so bad. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? No, I mean... Fake I mean, it till you make it and all that. I... Still, though, a fake compliment is better than the usual spit in the face that I get. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. All right, so a smooth skin is, I'm guessing, what you call just non-ghoul people. Okay. Uh, anyway, side topic. Uh, looking for my dad. It's a middle-aged guy, vault suit, lab coat, maybe. Any, you see anybody like that? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Oh, really? Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Okay, Moriarty. It's the second time I've heard that. Uh, but if you know anything, I, I'm just looking for the guy. If you could help me, I'd really appreciate it. I was like you once. 
I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. You got a nice place to well. work. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now okay, get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. Oh, wow. Okay, well, don't want you getting killed over it, but I appreciate the info. Okay, so Moriarty has a terminal in the back, back there, I'm guessing, with some information. Do you need... Uh, just, just one moment, sir. I have a man to talk got to. Got something on your mind? No, I'm good. Um, excuse me, are you are you Moriarty? Colin Moriarty, at your ah, service. Okay. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got you the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Well, I'll tell you what, it's very nice of you. Um, but, you know, some of the people outside there are saying that you may have seen my father. It's a middle-aged guy. He's got a Vault 101 jumpsuit, maybe a lab coat. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. I'm sorry to Persistent you... little bastard, ain't you? Then and mm -hmm. now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your uh... daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Well, no, I, I, uh, I'm just wanting to find my dad, but uh, I'm, I was born in Vault 101. I don't know how you could have met me before. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. Oh. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. What? That's right. Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend, brotherhood of and steel. you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, I... But life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Yeah, I, I, but the, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Um, why, would he, he, why would he have lied to me? He wouldn't have done that. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped, oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that so, other assorted lunacy. I mean, Kid, guy... you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? What? Okay. All that aside, um, I need to find my dad. But now that you mention it, Colin, yeah, 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 Moriarty. Oh, you're the Colin Moriarty. Oh, no, yeah, he talked about you all the time. Okay, okay, that makes sense now. Uh, yeah, oh, well, I'll tell you what, if you tell me where he is, I'll let him know you say hello. You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. And, like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, a hundred caps, and Daddy's location's yours. A hundred caps? I'm sorry, I don't... A uh, hundred caps? I don't... I don't... I don't have a hundred caps? I don't even know what that is. I'm guessing, like, literally, like, bottle caps? Like, that's what you guys use for money or something? Uh, don't have that. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. Thank you, if you yes. don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Um. Uh, I mean, if it'll give me the information, I mean, yeah, a little favor, sure. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. Yeah. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps Silver. from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. I get it. I go find Silver, you to hand over the money she owes you, and, and then you give me the information. I mean, that's that's straightforward enough. Um, all right, no, I appreciate it. But uh, do you know anything about like where Springvale is or anything like that? The Wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? You just Listen to me, lad. Me. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Because you're paying me to go find somewhere else. Okay, fine. 
What is there around Megaton I should know about? Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Okay, I guess that's fair enough. Um, any work or anything going on around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? Lucy West? Nah, She's afraid. Know. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Okay. Nah, I haven't, haven't seen her, but I guess, alright, I gotta go figure out how to get you your money so you can tell me where my dad is. I gotta go. Careful in D.C. now. Those super mutants can be a prickly bunch. I'm sorry, super mutants? <laughs> That doesn't sound fun at all. Well then, okay. Welcome to Moriarty's saloon. Hey, God, appreciate it, man. Um, hey, Pearl, what do you need? I'm looking for uh, for a place called Springvale. I think it's it's from the way Moriarty talks. Sounds like it's not you know anywhere around there. But do you know where that is or anything else going on around town I should know about? I couldn't tell you really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Um, Okay, all right. I can, I can talk to her. Um, uh, okay, cool. So uh, you mentioned the terminal. Anything else you can tell me about it? I'd rather do that than go, f you know, talk to some junkie. I hate that fucking thing. It's all he cares about. Information is a commodity. He keeps saying. I'd stay away from that thing if I were you. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I I really need to get that information in there. Oh, Mr. Moriarty never lets me back there. Oh. If you need to get into the terminal, you should talk to Nova. She'll help you. But it may be expensive if you catch my meaning. Oh my god, I have to pay her too? Alright, well I'll go talk to her. Thanks, God. Come back soon. Sure I will, buddy. Hey, Nova. Um, no. Hey, Nova. Listen, I'm working right now, so make it quick, okay? Your job is to stand in a corner and smoke cigarettes? Alright. Um, so... Do you know anything about Moriarty's terminal? That stupid thing is his pride and joy. He keeps all of his dirty little secrets in it about everything that goes on in this godforsaken town. Yeah, well, I once no. leaned on his shoulder when he was typing into it, and he got pissed off and pushed me to the ground. Good grief. Um, is there anything like you could do to help me get in there? Apparently there's some information about my dad on it. Well, all right. You seem like a good kid. It isn't your fault Moriarty is such an asshole. Thank Here's you. the password. Just don't mention to anyone that I gave it to you, or I might be out of my ass like silver. Okay, no, I won't. I won't say a word. Thank you. Um, look, I might, I might need to hole up here for a day or so. How much does it take to rent a room here? Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps. No, no, up no. Up front. No, not that kind of room. Okay, no thanks. Pass. Okay then. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, all right. I, I had to take off. Uh, see you later. Take care of yourself, hon. Okay, all right, easy enough. So, what's the big idea? Sorry. So I get into. You need something, sir? Can I help you? My my, just when I had all but given up hope, my dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke, and you, you well, soothing voice. you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. And makes you a rather valuable individual. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Burke. Okay, well, if, uh, if if I'm so valuable, since I'm not a resident, uh, why is that? Don't you see? You're a free agent. I mean, you I'm have no ties free. here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. Well, look, there's... I represent certain interests who view this town, this. Make a ton as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. Burgeoning? If this settlement oh, were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Are you go away? Are you are you are you intending to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. Uh, the undetonated either. atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. Oh, that's good All news. it needs is a little motivation. I don't think. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. 
Uh, as tempting as that is, I think I'm going to pass. I, I'm not going to help you blow up a town. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Okay, have a good day. Um, I'm just going to be heading out. Sheriff. Oh gosh, where's that sheriff? Oh no, 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 no. You guys want to blow up a town? What a psychopath. I know that bomb was still active. Are you kidding me? That thing? Imagine what it could do. All these people, all these... I mean, uh, my father could still be around for all I know. He could be caught in the blast. Hey, Sheriff, Sheriff. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Sheriff. Good to see you're staying out of trouble. I'm trying my best, but look, there's a guy named Burke. Uh, he said his name was. He's in Moriarty's. He said he's going to try to use the bomb to explode. He'd pay me to do it. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Yeah, he said he was going to pay me to explode the bomb, but I, I mean, obviously I said no. But what if he gets someone else to do it? Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in Wasteland Justice. Wasteland Justice? What is Wasteland Justice into? Oh, are we like a posse? Oh, I get it. We're like rounding up a posse. Okay, no, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I got my baseball bat still and my old BB gun, but I'm, I'm guessing the baseball bat is probably the way to go here. Where'd you go? Sheriff. Where did... Where the heck? Oh, there you are. Sheriff, I'm coming. head is not a good state to be in when you're trying to take down a psychopathic serial killer. Don't worry, Sheriff, I'm backing you up. There he is in the... yeah. Good to you see there. you. Burke, explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Yeah. Have you lost your mind? Sheriff. I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At Good least call, until Sheriff. I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I, I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing no, things like the hard way? Sheriff. Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. I don't like this guy, Sheriff. I don't like him one bit. Watch out, he's got a gun! Sheriff! Oh my god. Uh. 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 You're looking for them. Uh. Mayor uh. Him or the sheriff. sheriff. Sheriff, did you see that? Look, he had a pistol on him. Sheriff. I must be getting slow in my old age. Thanks for saving my hide there. No, any any anything, anything. Um yeah, glad to just get rid of that guy, but the the bomb. What about it? I mean, I mean, if, 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 I mean, if it's still live, we should probably do something about it, right? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. Well, clearly Burke And did. hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, Cromwell. they worship oh, the yeah, damn the thing. They worship Why? The bomb? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Uh man. Um, I mean, my dad used to tinker with stuff in the lab, and uh, maybe I can look into it. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Yeah. Go easy. Yeah, that makes sense. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. 100 caps? I don't know too much about these caps, but I have a feeling 100 is pretty low. Uh, I mean, this is a nuclear bomb we're talking about. You think you can chip in a little more? Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Good grief. Okay, well. All right, all right. Um, I'll, uh, I'll take a look. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. 
Just be careful. Okay, yeah, thanks. Don't blow us up now. I will certainly do my best. Oh, oh, excuse me. Um, okay. Alright, just take a look at the bomb. Just want to make sure nothing's wrong with it. Burke put a bullet in my side. I should probably uh, get that taken out. This doctor needs to get his shit together. Wake up. Okay. Besides, if I'm going to pay the doctor, I guess I'm going to need some money. Alright, bombed. Okay, yeah, a little complicated for my very basic understanding. Not really worth looking into at the moment. Ah, okay. So I can't do anything about that bomb just yet. Moriarty's terminal. Let's see if I can do anything about that terminal, find out where my dad went. But, you know, there's that girl Silver that he talked about. If I could find out where she is, then I suppose I could still get the caps from her anyway, even if I get the information. Oh, is that a back door? Yeah, it sure enough is. Look at that. Hmm. Wonder if I get in here. Let's see what I can do. Here we go. Oh yes, Moriarty's in the other room. Luckily I got the password. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, okay, uh maybe residence? No, my dad's not in this list. Visitors, maybe? Mr. Burke. This guy's a class A weirdo. Get the door open, tells me he's with some sort of opportunist, okay. Okay, interesting. It's James, Vault 101. So out of nowhere, James came back. What? James came back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before, he asked me where he'd like to get a lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. He told him about Galaxy News Radio and the ruins of DC. And that guy, Three Dog. Galaxy News Radio, ruins of DC, Three Dog. Like that, he left. So he was here, and he's been here before. I remember the first time he showed up, almost 20 years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to, want to or be able to get into a vault. He must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby that wouldn't shut the fuck up. Normally I would have kicked someone out like that out of my place, but in a way with words. Then, like that, he ducks in vault one and he's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy. He's been there Oh my god, it's true. Oh no, okay. Well, when I find out, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's get out of here. Okay. Galaxy News Radio. Three Dog. DC. Galaxy News Radio, the bit, the Nova and Gob, they were talking about that in the saloon. I wonder if they, maybe they know a thing or two about it. Huh, might be worth asking them. But until then, let's see if, um, I wonder if I can find that girl, Silver. Hopefully she's not too far away. He said Springvale. Sounds like she's, she couldn't have gone far. I mean, if you have no money, where are you going to go? Check it out. Welcome to hey, Deputy Weld. Megaton. Thank you, Please man. Please stand it. clear of the All right, gate. Springvale, Springvale. I guess, I don't know where that is, but a decent place to start could be this little town over here. Well, town is a strong word. It's more or less a neighborhood. Okay, a couple of... Oh, there's a person! Well, what's going on? Oh, they need some help. There's some lasers. Hold on, hold on. Got that pistol I got off of Burke. What's happening down here? Oh my! What in the world? What did she just shoot at? What is going on? According to my pit boy, she's uh she's not silver. She's dressed in some crazy outfit. She looks like a psychopath. Hmm. Why is she walking around with her gun drawn like that? I'm gonna keep my distance, but keep an eye on her. I'm gonna trust her. I don't like the way she looks. She attacked that robot for no reason. 
That robot wasn't hurting anybody. Spike knuckles in a mailbox? Okay. Alright, well, I'll just let her go about her way. This looks like she wasn't interested in anything. Might as well grab what I can find out here. What is this? Basement? Did she come from here? Cellar door. It's locked. Huh. Okay. She blew up something. What the heck happened? Hey. Okay. Keep an eye on this girl. I don't like her. She's walking up the hill. Hopefully she's gone. Yeah, just keep on walking, lady. Okay, magazine. Whatever. Easy enough. I wonder if silver is in any of these ruins or anything. Oh, what the heck? A safe. Okay. Alright, someone left a safe behind. Let's see if I can pick this one. Luckily, Amara, Amada gave me those bobby pins. Oh, bullets. Okay, some caps. I guess that's the money. Pistols and a lot of drugs. Wow. Okay. Whoever was hiding this out must have had a serious problem. That lady, that crazy looking lady, she seems gone. Hopefully I don't have to worry about her. Some darts, that could come in handy, I guess. Anything in here? I don't see anything. Some bobby pins, I can use that to pick locks if I run into any more. Okay, alright. Got a little bit of stuff on me. A little bit of caps in the pocket. Feeling a little bit better. About my situation. It's not ideal, but it's better. Okay, just some spare bullets. Nothing too crazy. Refrigerator. I wonder if it's got any food in it. Uh, a little warm, but I'll still take it. Those preservatives that they put in pre-war food, it probably makes it last forever. Shouldn't be too worried. to get this concussion looked at badly, but I need some caps to pay this doctor. So, alright, so let's see what else we can find. Not a whole lot going on out here, just a bunch of destroyed houses. Another cabinet. Open, let's see. Alright, some more bobby pins, it's always handy. Ooh, some booze, okay. I'm sure Moriarty would buy that off me. Wait a minute, Springvale Elementary School. Oh, this is Springvale. Okay, I'm in the right area. Knuckles, okay. Oh, this, I'm in the right spot. Okay, okay. So, all right, well, this house looks mostly intact. I wonder if anybody's in here. Ow. Oh, hello. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? More, oh, you must be Silver. Uh, as a matter of fact, yes, and you owe him some caps. That bastard. He's a... he's a liar. He just wants me dead. Yeah. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Well, based on, uh, based on how drunk you sound, I'm gonna say that he's kinda got it covered. So why don't you just give me the caps and I'll just tell him you're gone. Look, I don't know who you are. I'm not just handing over my life's earnings to you. Alright, that's fair enough. I wouldn't either. Um, okay, well, if you just give me some of the caps, I'll tell them you're gone. You'd do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. Yeah, maybe you go. need help. But... Thanks, kid. You're alright. I'll do what I can. I mean, you need, you need help, just because, well, you know, you clearly have a drug problem, but yeah, you seem to be doing alright for yourself here. You got plenty of food, got some bullets. I mean, it's not the cleanest place in the world, but, you know, whatever makes you happy. Alright, well, good luck to you, Silver. Okay, sweet. So I got the information. Didn't have to pay Moriarty. And I got the caps from Silver. So, win-win for me, I guess. Sweet. You gave me 300 too. That's a lot of money. Okay, not a big deal. But, now that I got the money, let's go see about this doctor. Elementary school. I wonder if there's anything in there that might be useful. Probably not. In elementary school, what would that have that could be useful to me? A bunch of pencils? No, I'm good. Well, maybe you'd have a cafeteria. I could find some food. 
I'm gonna need that if I'm gonna go into the city to find my dad. Hey, Deputy Weld. We'll have to take a look around first. Okay. Hey, Sheriff. Good to see you're staying out of trouble. Yeah, doing my best. Um, I'm not sure I can disarm the bomb just yet, but I'll keep looking at it. Um, listen, I might have to venture out into town. You know anything around here I should know about? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. Okay. The human race is stubborn like that. Good, so it's not just Megaton. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Rivet City. Okay, all right, well... I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out about it. Uh, thank you, Sheriff. Appreciate it. Don't blow us up now. I'm not going to. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get to the bottom of it eventually. But uh, I need some time first. I wonder if maybe that cult leader can give me some some information about the bomb. But first things first. Let's go wake up this doctor. Excuse me. Doc, you awake? Hey, Doc. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. Hey, how's it going? I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Hey, now, Dr. before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. Okay. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. Pretty I'm busy close. enough taking care of people I actually like. Mm -hmm. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Do my best, Doc. Uh, so, straight to the point, uh, I'm just, I'm pretty beat up. You take a look at this concussion. Good lord, this'll take some work. 100 caps worth of work. A hunt? That's, that's pretty steep. I think I'll be okay. Then stop wasting my time. Right, yep, roll one, got it. Uh, but look, listen, if you have any medical supplies, I could trade you for it. Yeah? What do you need? Um, maybe anything that could help with my head. Um, for starters, though, uh, I found a knife, some knuckles, uh, this old broken pistol. I'm sure you can, you know, you gotta defend your clinic, right? Um, you don't need any of this. Um, you can have a couple of my old jumpsuits, maybe. Um, this one's almost busted. You can take that. Uh, I've got some food. Um, that's, I mean, I don't do drugs, but you might need them for your practice. Um, I guess they could, this could help maybe a little bit. Uh, I don't use morphine. You can take that. I'm sure you'd need that. Um, let's see. Some more drugs for you. Some more alcohol. I'm sure you could trade that for uh, for some other, you know, medical stuff. Some cleaner, for your, some disinfectant for your tools. That could be useful. Um, I got my little baseball stuff. I don't need that anymore. Um, uh, and some glue, maybe, if you needed to, I don't know, show up some uh, some, some stitches or something. Uh, but listen, if you have, let me see, um, some healing powder, that could be good. Um, but actually, a stim pack would be great. Um, and then, maybe, do you have any, oh yes, some surgical supplies would be fantastic, yeah. Um, and maybe, maybe one more set of surgical supplies. Alright, that'll do it, Doc, thank you. You done? Good. Yes, um, I don't want to bother you. I'll let you go. Try to be careful. Yeah, I'll do my best. If you don't mind, I'm yes, just going to see you. If... And yes, okay. I can see you eyeing it. No, I, I'm just... Give me a second. I'm just going to... Maybe I can... Take a look at my head real quick. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, those surgical supplies helped. Yeah, my head's a lot better. And with those stim packs... Oh, there we go. That's that's the stuff. Okay. Woo. All right. Okay. Woo. A little better. Thanks, Doc. Okay. All right. Appreciate you, Doc. Okay. So now that bomb. I can't. I can't just leave this town with that bomb still intact. And and if I'm gonna get all the way into the city. Yeah, if I'm gonna get all the way into the center of the city, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to rest up and hopefully get a little bit more prepared for that sort of journey. I'll talk to this crazy guy. Excuse me, are you the confessor? Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome, welcome to Megaton. I appreciate it. I am Confessor Cromwell.
Oh, prophet of atom and father of the undying glow. Please, child, hmm. come to the church any time, any time at all. Well, thank you. I may need to take you up on that, but um, what can you tell me about your church? Yes, what would you like to know? Uh, what do you guys believe in? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. That is, when that atomic seem... mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Why? Well, I... Occasionally, a divine event occurs and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, are you where most war? of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, sounds good. I'm gonna let you keep doing your thing. As you wish. Take it easy. Walk in the glow. I will certainly not. Okay, that guy is not going to be any help when it comes to uh, defusing Morning. a nuclear bomb. So that's unfortunate. Okay, I uh, could go try to find out some more about this Galaxy News radio place from Nova and Gob. Always check out the supply store. Well, the door's locked. It's still early in the day. I guess it's not open yet. What else we got here? Something got to be something useful. Water processing plant. Well, you know, water would be good. Oh, excuse me. Yeah? What is it? Hi there, Walter. Um, I, I like your, your jumpsuit, by the way. Helpful name tag there. Uh, what do you do here? Do you sell water? I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, do you have any work or anything? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. Well, that's and I'm good. the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. Well, I'm glad I you're here. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I hmm. don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, how many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Three Check weeks. along okay. the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go look around. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. You might have a run on your plant. That wouldn't be good. Yeah, I'll go take a look. Well, back to work. Yeah, no, no problem. Okay, uh, we'll take it easy, Walter. Okay, three leaks. That's, I mean, to keep this place with purified water, yeah, I'll fix some leaks. And he'll pay me for it? Shoot. It's fine with me. Now let's see what we got here. Okay. Leak number one, easy enough. Three-way joint, that's simple. Let's uh, fix that guy. Alright. There we go. That's easy. Just like uh, just like in shop in, uh, in the vault. Okay, no, I remember that. Just, these are simple pipes. This won't be too difficult to fix. Okay, I'm looking for another pipe somewhere. They could be around the city, so... That one over there. Let's look around. If we can see any... Oh, there, there we go. There's some water shooting out. That doesn't look good. Um, it's pretty high up there. How do we get up there? Uh, let's see. I think... Okay, I think I can go around this way, maybe? Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's for sure a leak. Look at that. Alright. Just a little vault. Easy enough. Let's see. Let's take a look at you here. Okay. That was another simple little joint fix. Not too difficult at all. Uh, how to get down? That's the real question. Okay. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Okay. Two leaks down, one to go. Um. Hmm. Walk around. Maybe there's something on this side. That guy is really annoying. Okay. No water just yet. Oh, there's something. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Yep. Uh, just a little turn of this valve. That should do it. Yeah, that was easy enough. Perfect. 
All right, well, that's easy. Let's just go talk to uh, Walter, see if that helped. That's three leaks, right? Yeah. Life in the forge of your Got it covered. Pardon me, Sheriff. Let's go, let's see, go up this way. Over here. Let's around this way. All right. Uh, Walter, did that help with the pipes at all? Hey. What do you need? I think I fixed the leaks. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. Oh, that's fantastic. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. Yeah, of course. But I'm listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. Oh, really? And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. Okay. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. Huh. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. Yeah, if right. I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Yeah, scrap for, for caps? No, it's, yeah, absolutely. Sounds good to me. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Yeah, certainly will. Oh, yeah, good luck with everything. Oh, that's an easy deal. All right. Not too bad. A little easy way to make some money. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Now that I got a little money, is the store open? Oh, not yet. It's got to be opening soon, I reckon. It's getting a little later in the morning. The sun's pretty high up. Let's see. Let's go see what Gob and Nova have to say about uh, Galaxy News Radio. They seem to know something. Uh, hey, Gob. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. No, I'm sorry, buddy. He's probably not happy I broke into his terminal, but let's just, let's keep that between you and me. Hey, you were talking about Galaxy News Radio earlier. What do you know about it? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. Okay. I, I like hearing the it. DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. Okay. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Um, all right, three dog. Okay, uh, all good. I'll catch you later, Gob. Don't hit me. I'm oh, sorry, buddy. I'm not going to hit you. Yes, that's uh, locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry about Mr. Burke. You'll have to deal with that anyway. Uh, hey, Nova. What is it, hun? So you guys were talking about Galaxy News Radio. What do you know about it? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. I thought we established It's the that only one. free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, okay. is like the only person who seems to give a shit. Okay. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. So there's, what, two stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Yeah, what is, well, what is this Well, out on? there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's okay. the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think Enclave. it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. Yeah, we had and that And there's the Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down yeah. in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. Okay, all right, well, easy enough. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to it then. I gotta find out where this place is. Take care of yourself, hun. Okay, all right, Three Dog, down in D.C. The signal went down, so something must have happened over there. Easy enough. Um, did you say something earlier? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Uh, yes ma'am, I am. Mean, uh, fairly new. Uh, just stopped in looking for somebody, but uh, I don't see how that's any of your business. <laughs> well, that's the attitude I've come to know from most of the people around this town. Folks like to keep to themselves. Well, I don't want your life yeah. story. I just want a little bit of a favor. Think you're up to it? Is it a, is it a paying kind of favor? I'd like some details. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. I'm not really a I wastelander. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They okay. live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more <laughs> if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. Getting paid to deliver a letter? I don't see how that, that doesn't seem problematic. Yeah, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. Okay. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Okay, yeah, no, no worries. Uh, I'll take it over to them, but I, um, 
Uh, I don't know where Arfu is. Can you tell me where it is? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Oh, thanks. Uh, where is it? Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. Northwest if you follow overpass. what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Follow the river, overpass, northwest. Yeah, that seems easy enough. Um, who else lives there besides your family? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then okay. there's my family, the Ewer family. Okay. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Less family. Okay, that's easy enough. Uh, I mean, is there anything, like, dangerous or something? Like, do you think there's a problem? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. That... If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Uh, that's a fair point. I'm starting to wonder if I should go at all. Okay, well, uh, I mean, do you think there's a, you know, do you think your family's in trouble? Like, why are you sending them this message? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Well, based Whatever on what you, you said Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. I'll do my best. I may be going out that way anyway. All right, well, uh, anything else you got? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just, I'll take off. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. I'm, I'm still getting paid. Don't get too... Don't get too, uh, self-righteous uh, or anything. I'm still getting paid for this. Okay, well, that must have been the Lucy West lady that uh, Moriarty was talking about. Uh, okay, deliver a letter. That's not a big deal. Let's see. She said it was northwest, following the river, overpass. So that's not too far away. And I'm going to need the money if I'm going to you know, buy some guns or something to get towards the city. So, might be worth my time. Now, though, let's see how much guns cost. I wonder if this supply store is open. Hopefully it is. Oh, finally. Alright, let's see, uh, see what we can get in here.